Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kyle BJM and today we are going to be doing a library haul video. So it's a cozy rainy day here in Brooklyn. I just wrapped up work and the library is not too far from me so I'm going to walk on over in the rain, look for a romance or a cozy mystery or maybe both and read it. And I will do a little haul at the end of this video to show you what I got at the library. But first, let's go to the library. I feel like author the Aunt Eager from PBS. Let's go. My mask on, my beanie, and I'm heading out the door. Someone wants to come with me, but he can't. Hey, I gotta go. I gotta go. Excited to show you guys the books I got. This is going to be the library haul portion of this little vlog. I have my hot cuppa. <laughs> I'm on the mouth. Well, let's just jump right into the library haul. I got two books that I already had on my to be R, my to be read list. And I also got three books that just caught my eye at the library, either by the cover or by the synopsis. The first book I have is. The Office of Historical Corrections by Daniel Evans. This is a novella and a um, collection of short stories. It says here that with this novella and stories, Evans considers how and why some people choose to confront history and others choose to outrun it. Moving between humor and grief, Evan portrays characters who are experiencing the universal confusions of lust and love and getting walloped by sorrow all while exploring how history haunts us personally and collectively. I love short stories. Short stories don't get a lot of love, especially in the publishing industry. I can't from my mind think about why because I absolutely adore short stories. So I'm excited. And it's pretty short, you know, so hopefully I can finish it by the deadline. Okay, so the next book I got is this romance book called The Shadi Setup. I don't know why I picked this one up. It's not usually something I would go for, but I'm trying to get more into romance. I've read a couple of romances recently and I really love it. And I honestly, I can't lie, I was caught by the name Shahadi. Um, I was like, a book about brown love, like why not? So I just was caught by the cover of this and the synopsis is like, was really long, so I barely even read it. But um, check back for my wrap up when I finish reading this book. The book that I got was The Game of Cones by Abby Collette and it is a cozy mystery which I found out recently means a mystery that is set in a very small town or small setting and it also has food involved. I just read Arsenic and Adobo. Um, I can't remember the author's name, Nina, I can't remember her name, but I read Arsenic and Adobo and it was a cozy mystery that was also set in a Filipino um, restaurant and this book is set in a creamery that her, this character's family owns and it gave me the same type of vibes as that and basically a big city developer comes to town intent on building a mall um, with a big um but then a killer takes him out and the book is about solving this mystery which is very similar to Arsenic and Adobe in a lot of ways in terms of like this food critic coming to um I won't I won't spoil Arsenic and Adobo actually but it seems very similar, so I'm excited. The other book I got was Memories of My Melancholy Whore by Gabriel Garcia Marquez. Everyone knows Gabriel Garcia Marquez. Not everyone knows that he wrote a book called Memories of Melancholy Whores. And that's what stuck out to me, Melancholy Whores. So I picked it up and I read the back and it's very, it's pretty short. It's like a hundred pages. I'm usually hesitant to read narratives that involve like a age gap, especially when that 
one of the people in the relationship is underage. I don't love it. Um, basically, it is what it sounds like. Um, and I'm very interested but scared to read this one. And open water. I cannot believe I actually found this just sitting casually at the library. Did not have to put it on hold. It was just there. I've been wanting to read this one for such a long time and I'm excited that it's available. It is supposed to be a deep love story set in Britain between two black characters and it's supposed to be very potent and it's it's peppered with race and class so I'm very excited to read this one. So these are all of the books that I got from my library today and I hope that this mini vlog and library haul was at least a little enjoyable to you um, and I will try to do a wrap up of these in a separate video for my usual monthly wrap up. As usual, don't forget to like and subscribe and please comment if you have any video ideas that you would like to see from me, whether it's bookish or vloggish type of book, um, vloggish types of videos. I um, look forward to seeing you next time. For now, 